So how good is the Focus V Aris? This is one of the newest devices this year. It's pretty popular. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. A lot of people have asked me to check it out. And I've been using it for about a month or so. If you've been tuning into my Twitch streams, I do most of my device testing there. I've tested out a lot of e-rigs. So if you want to see some in action, definitely check me out on Twitch. But I've seen people saying this is the best device. This is the worst device, but I don't agree with either of those claims. And I want to talk to you about some of the specifics here. Some people think this is like an answer to the proxy, like Focus Carta's version of the proxy. I don't really think so. I have a proxy that's meant to be put in a bunch of different pieces of glass. This doesn't even have any glass that goes with it yet. And it's really like a giant pen, but it's better than any other concentrate pen that you may have seen or used. Now, I want to say here, the design doesn't really favor somebody who's not super experienced with concentrates. Just looking through different socials, I've seen people hitting them on Insta and Reddit. A lot of people hit it like this. They hit it like they would hit a cartridge or a vape pen. They tilt it towards their face. This has a Carta atomizer in it. You load the dabs in here just like you would a Carta or a Puffco. And when you tilt that, all of your concentrate is gonna pool in one corner or one side of the atomizer. There's people out here complaining about how the device doesn't work great and they're holding it at an, <laughs> at an angle that will make it not work well. You're you're, you tilt it anymore, you're spilling your dabs out. You're gonna pour them into your mouth, which is one of my issues with it. Like you're supposed to hit it straight up and down and it has a straight up and down mouthpiece. There's not even an option to give you like a curved mouthpiece or an angled mouthpiece to give you like a comfortable hit. There's no ergonomics here. I actually looked at the official video. They got like propped on the table on there. Wrenching down towards it. It looks awkward, but the mouthpiece is magnetic. There's a silicone aspect to it. They, they could come out with other stuff pretty easily. I hope there's some stuff in the future because a lot of people are gonna buy this, they're gonna put concentrate in it, they're gonna hit the button and they're gonna hold it sideways and go, this thing sucks. Which if you do it like that, it sucks, it really does. But don't do it like that, hold it upright. Think about this as like a banger or an atomizer on another e-rig, you're not really tilting those because you want the concentrate to have the best chance of contacting as much of the surface in here to vaporize. Now I will say this does use the same atomizer as the Focus Carta, but it uses it differently. It, it doesn't give you like the same hits as the Carter without the water. It uses the atomizer in a different way. You can see there's holes on the bottom. When you use the Carter, you're pulling the vapor through the chamber, through the water into your lungs. When you're using the Aris, you're not pulling it through the chamber. You're just creating vapor inside of it and then you're pulling it out of the top. So while it does use the same chamber as the Carta, it uses it in a different way and the way that it uses it doesn't give you as good of hits as the Carta can. It still does a pretty good job. It's better than any other red hot coil or a coil with a quartz dish over it. It's better than a lot of the stuff out there but it doesn't use the atomizer in the same way as the Carta does or other e-rigs do. I do think it's cool that they use the same one. I thought that was kind of weird on the proxy and the peak that you have to get two different atomizers, just make the same one. And I also, I did hear that Focus might be doing an XL chamber soon. I believe if they do that, it can work in this device. They would just have to make another chamber because this fits pretty snug in there. If there was a taller chamber that came out, they would have to make a new cap for this. And I think that they're going to. If they're smart, they would make some cap options and some mouthpiece options instead of just the standard. But this has been out for a few months and I looked at their official website, there's no options yet. It comes with a little silicone mouth plug here. I feel like this thing could easily be attached to the device or you could come up with a better design. Like we're working with silicone here. Why don't we have something that just like folds over and tucks into itself to close and then you pop it out to have like a workable mouthpiece. Now my biggest issue with this before we show you how it hits is the battery life on it is not great. I, I should mention to update your app before you even try to use this, make sure you have the latest version of the focus app or you're gonna have some frustrating problems you're gonna want to access the app because the presets on here they're not great it's like 30 second hits i used a few of them they're not good you want to kind of tune it up a little bit and one thing that's strange between the carter devices is it feels like i'm using the same device and the same atomizer but when i set a temperature on here it's wildly different than the carter like the carter hits so hot 
actually was testing mine out because I heard that they updated it with the app and I literally scorched the crap out of my atomizer using like one of my regular settings from like months ago. So careful with the Carta, but the presets on here are not good. And the biggest issue that I have with this, is I had it with the Carta before, it's the battery. I get like five, maybe six hits on this. There's people out there are like, this is the best portable device. But if I bring this on the go and it's dead after five hits, I'm not having a good time. Now, I will say the Carta did have an update. It took them a long time. And I did notice a difference in the battery. I think I'm going to do an updated review on the Carta too soon. But why should it take so long for a software update to make your hardware work better? It's kind of crazy. But this thing, you get like maybe five, maybe six hits. If you're using the presets, maybe you'll get a few more, but the presets aren't that good. And one other thing I got to say before we get into hitting this, because I'm, I'm reminded with what I'm about to experience. Compared to other dry devices, this thing, you feel feel the heat this thing does not do a good job of mitigating the heat from the atomizer before it gets into your mouth and lungs like you feel the heat on your lips on your tongue i talk about the proxy being not that bad for dry hits but all the vapor hits the glass wall of the pipe before it goes through the piece and into your lungs like it cools it off by hitting the glass. This thing goes straight through the mouthpiece and, and doesn't do a great job of mitigating. So versus other things that I've used, like you're really gonna feel the heat on this, especially if you're trying to do like a larger hit. But it's, it's not like the mouthpiece here is a permanent thing and this is your only option. I do feel in the future, they're gonna have more options for the mouthpiece because they're gonna have to uh, at least do something to make room for that XL chamber. Also, this is one of the only e-rigs that you can realistically fit and carry around in your pocket. I will say it's going to make it look like you're you're rocking like a half chub or something. Is that an heiress in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Like it's one of those things that you, you can fit in your pocket, but it's bigger than anything that I try to fit in my pockets. This is a thick boy right here. Before we get too deep into it, if you want to see where I got this or get some more info on that, just go type exclamation heiress, A-E-R-I-S in my Twitch chat or Discord for some more info all right let's not get too crazy here let's show you how it hits vapor coming straight out the top you can see it's ready easy to clean and maintain well like I said the battery life on is leaves some to be desired I'm feeling the heat My lips are getting hot. Oh, this is one of like the hottest, driest dabs. I'm not doing like a crazy temperature or anything. We got plenty of claim we can wipe out of there. Overall, I would say the device is decent. It's not one you really need to race out and get unless you need to have five kind of hot dabs on the go, maybe six. Like during my Twitch streams where I've tested it, I've gone through the battery life on it like two or three times. I'm like, I'm not doing that many hits. I'm just trying to get an idea of how it hits at like a different temperature, maybe a little bit longer. But, oh, the, the battery died again. <laughs> I do have some hope though. They updated the Carta apparently and you get more battery life. It's not draining 15 cent battery per hit, but like this thing is draining more than that, I think. So I don't know if, if we, we're gonna get an update in like a year or two and it's gonna have better battery life or if the update's already in place and they were like, yeah, you really only need a few hits. But decent overall, I would like to see if they made like a new cap, uh, maybe when they have the the extra large chamber that they're supposedly coming out with, they'll have different cap options. The hits on it are, are good. You just feel the heat on your lips. Either way, come get lit with me on Twitch. I'll see you later, my dudes.